Today we'll talk about the sticker toner system. As we know, there is two main type of stick of a curtain wall. There is sticker toner system and unitized system and the same unitized system. The sticker toner system, as we can see here, it consists of the malleon and the transom. Now, how how the transom is connected to malleon? There is, you can see here, this is the million first, okay. This is the isolator and this gasket. And this is the transom. Inside the transom, can, we can see shear block. It's called shear block. This shear block is the connector between the million and transom. First, we have to fix the shear block into the million by screw, as you can see. And after that, We'll insert the transom, and from front we screw it. We screw the transom to the connector. There is a groove; it will be found in the shear block. This screw has to be go inside this groove. So the distance from here to here, it, sh it should be this hole. It should be match in the groove line. We can see here in, in this drawing, so we can uh, understand more easier. Here, we can see here in 3D. We can see here this is the million and that is the transom. That is the shear block and that is the screw. We can see more here. First this million we make three holes and the same three holes it has to be in the shear block. That is shear block, that is the hole in the million, that is the three screw. First we'll drill the three holes. Okay, the size of the hole should be according to screw sizes. So we'll make drill the three holes, then we fix the shear block by the three screw. After that, from front, we'll fix two screw. We'll insert the transom, then we'll fix it by two screw. We can see here the shear, how it's looking, the shear block. Shear block look here. Shear block. This is a shear block. So the screw, the hole, the, the hole location in the transom should be matched exactly with this groove. So that is the shear block. It's, there is three holes. It has to fix in the million. And from front, it should be fixed with this screw from front. And as we know, we have a different system of, of a curtain or wall. It's in the, uh, in the market. Yeah, like we have uh, Shoku, Reynards, Vista Wall, Hawk, Galextrusion, Alumil, and so on, so on, so Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the curtain wall fabrication. First, what is the curtain wall? The curtain wall is a form of vertical building closure which support and unload other than its own weight and the environmental force which acting upon it. So that, what is the type of curtain wall? The type of curtain wall, we have two main type of curtain wall. A stick curtain wall and the unitized curtain wall. The stick curtain wall, it has two types, the cabin system and the structure silicone glazing. The structure glazing system, we have four side structure glazing silicone and the two side structure glazing silicone. A unitized panel, it has two types. Full unitized panel and semi unitized panel. The material used for curtain wall. The material used for curtain wall first, the aluminum profile, which is a million transom, connectors, screws, gasket, thermal brake, pressure plate, cover cap, shoe bracket, wall bracket, aluminum tube, 
sleeves and system accessories. So, as you can see in the photo, we have one screw with plug, one screw without plug. This normal screw with a plug, we are used to fix the window and doors. And this screw, it's uh, we have different sizes and different type. The screw diameter and the length, it will be depends on the system and the calculation. So we are used uh, the screw. There is two types. There is different size of screw. There is three point two, three point eight, four point two, uh, five, six. So what is based on what I use the, I choose this four point two diameter or five milli diameter. Based on what? This based on the calculation. Sometimes we are use a bigger screw. Sometimes we are use a small screw. And the, what is the type? There is galvanized. Uh, there is screw. It's uh, galvanized and stainless steel. But most of the cases we are use uh, stainless steel uh, screw. And there is two type also in in stainless steel. There is E4 and E2. Normal E4 we are used in the exposed area, which it's it's uh, the screw it will be exposed to weather. Uh, and E2 we are used in a non-exposed area and it's like the screw which fixes in the connector this is not exposed that's why we are used stainless steel stainless steel screw E2 but which it's, it's exposed we are used A4 gasket the gasket it's normal it's it's made from EBDM EBDM rubber what is the purpose of the gasket Normal to fix, uh, we cannot able to put the glass direct to the metal. So what we are doing, because if you put the glass direct to transom or the million, for sure the glass it will break. So normal in between the metal and the glass, we are provide uh, the rubber or a gasket. So normally you can find the gasket, it's put in the front of the transom and the million. After that, we fix the glass. Then it will come the pressure plate with gasket to protect the glass and avoid the glass to break. Number six, anchor poles. This anchor pole it's used to here. You can see here the anchor pole and here hexagonal pole. This anchor pole it's fix uh, the bracket to concrete. So that is we are used to fix the bracket into concrete. Also, we have different size of this anchor bolt. Yeah, and we have M6, M8, M10, 12, 16, 20, 25. We have too much, too much different size of the anchor bolt. Based on what we are choose this anchor bolt, this based on the calculation. Because the bins in the load, it's yeah, a curtain load. What's how much the load is taken? We are choose the anchor bolt based on that, but in normal cases we are use M10 anchor bolt M10 by 110. This most of the cases we are using uh, M10. We have different brands in, in the market. We have Hilti, we have Fisher, we have Mongo, we have MKT. This all they have softwares. So the structure engineer he will request from this uh, supplier. He will request the software and he will put the reaction and he uh, automatically it will give it will suggest the software it will suggest the suitable anchor pole and the second and the normal we are used also yani there is in the marking galvanize and stainless steel but most of the project now it's recommended to use uh, yani in the project specs you will find uh, they are always recommended to use uh, stainless steel stainless steel A4 of over 70 with this other one it is the hexagonal bolt hexagonal bolt uh, which is true bolt this one it's used for bracket to concrete and this one to connect the bracket with the with the million so what we are using we put the bracket on the wall we fix it with two anchor bolt or four then the million is coming and then we connected the million with the bracket by through bolt Number seven, the pressure plate. This pressure plate we can see here also here. 
Ги запишат плити. This is a pressure plate. This, it, you know, after we fix the glass, we are put the gasket here in the pressure plate, and we cap, cover cap. Then number nine, the silicon. This silicon, we have two type of the silicon. We have weather seal and silicon. We have structure glazing, structure silicon. And what is the purpose of the weather sealant? What is the purpose of the structure sealant? This, the weather sealant, the structure sealant, it's, uh, it's used normal to bond the glass uh, with the frame. So in the unitized system, what we are doing, we have a frame, we have frame, aluminum frame, then we put the structure sealant with, with double tape, then we bonded the glass on it. But in the weather sealant, weather sealant, it's used uh, just to to against the weather. So we are use the parameter. We are use the parameter of the window. We are use the back roads. Then we put the weather sealant. So there is so many brand in the in the market also the famous one, which most of people using down Corning. We have Sika. We have Tramco. So many brand in in the, in the market. And the, you know when we have double glazing unit, we are use the outer six sub, six milli, then air spacer, then uh, uh, inner glass six milli. This is the gap in between. We are put we are use structure uh, silicon in this case. Okay. Uh, number 10, this when we put the weather seal, you know, to, to, to avoid use too much uh, silicone. So what we are using, we are use back road. This back road, we put the back road first, then we apply the weather sealant. This backing glass, you know, the glass, it should be not touched with the metal direct. You cannot touch with the steel or aluminum direct. So we are used some backing so the glass can stand on this packing so it will not break it. Masking tape. This masking tape is normal when we apply the silicone in, in ACB, aluminum composite balance or you know we put first in the gap so we apply we put the masking tape then we apply the silicone then we remove the masking tape that is and there's so many purposes of the masking tape but this famous one we are put the gap between two ACP, we are apply the silicone, then we put the masking tape, masking tape, then we remove, after we apply the silicone, we remove the masking tape. Here, isolator. This isolator, uh, what is the purpose of this isolator? Actually, this isolator is coming, you know, the million, then we put the, uh, the gasket, there is there is a gap between the million and the pressure blade. We put it this isolator. What is the purpose of this isolator? Actually, the isolator, you know, to to to, to make uh, ther thermal bridge, thermal bridge between the external uh, wizard and the internal wizard. So that is you know, if you connect the two metal, it's easy to transfer to heat or cold from outside to inside the building. So that is the purpose of this one. When we use the BBC or isolator, this BBC, it will uh, not connect it. So 13. 13, the isolator. This isolator is used between the million and the pressure plate. The purpose of this isolator to make thermal bridge, so the the heat it will not transfer from external building to internal building. That is important for uh, you know the U value. Normally in any project we should be what is the mainly important thing for a facade, actually to to to, to reduce the cost. Because inside the building you want, especially in, in, in Gulf countries, there is 
uh, too much high temperature. So what is they using? They are using the air condition, air condition inside the building. If this glass transfer too much heat to inside, you want to use the more, you want to to make more cool inside the building. So you are want to use more air condition, which it it will cost you more electricity. So so and so. So here the purpose of the glass actually to uh, minimize the uh, the heat from sphere from external to internal. That is the glass. But there is a million also which is it's coming between the glass. So it has also to uh, minimize and transfer the heat from external to internal. So what they are using? They are using this isolator between the pressure plate, the number 14 uh, glass uh, clip. This glass clip in four structure silicon. What we are using? We are not use pressure anti cover. We are use a glass clip. I call toggle clip. We are fix this toggle clip by screw in the middle and transom. Then we put U channel in the double glazing unit. Then we go to insert the U channel which fix in the double glazing unit uh, to this toggle clip. And this toggle clip has to fix by screw in the front in this area. This transom connector. Here, what is the procedure for fabrication? The stage of fabrication. First, we order the material, uh, raw material, okay? So we order the raw material, the